Hello there and welcome to Separation Anxiety Solutions step-by-step -step guide to how to stuff a food toy or Kong. So here we have a Kong and some kibble. This is a ration from my dog's daily ration of kibble so he doesn't have anything extra, just his normal stuff. And I'm going to pop that in the Kong so it's nice and loose and very very easy for the dog to get out. Once the kibbles are in the Kong, have a look, make sure that there's plenty of space in there you haven't overstuffed it and it's not going to be too difficult for them to get the kibble out of there. Next stage, you're going to give this to your dog. It's going to be really, really easy. All the kibble's going to fall out. You're going to wonder why you're doing it. But believe me, you do this every day and you're going to end up with a dog that's very, very excited about a Kong. Stage two will be where we put the kibble in and block the hole at the top. So this makes it slightly more difficult. Don't do this stage until your dog is completely happy with the previous stage. So here we've got a Kong that's had the hole at the top blocked up with cream cheese. The next thing you're going to do is give that to your dog. It's going to be slightly more difficult, going to take them maybe a few seconds longer, but this is how we get them really hooked onto these toys. So the next stage is where we're going to put some liquid in with the kibble in the Kong. So you need to block the hole at the bottom. So what we've used here is some cream cheese. Again, you could use something like pate, or wet dog food or peanut butter whatever it is you don't need it much but just to block that hole at the bottom the next thing you're going to do is put the kong in a container so that when you pour liquid in there it doesn't all fall out of the bottom even though it's blocked sometimes it can still leak out the liquid that we've used in this kong is some bovril so it's less than half a teaspoon in approximately 200 mils of warm water be careful what stock you use because we don't want it to be too salty Obviously, you can use whatever stock you like. I've even seen people put peanut butter in hot water. We're then going to pour this liquid into the Kong. Remember to put your kibble in there first. So you're going to pour the liquid in right to the top, and then you're going to let it soak into the kibbles for a few seconds. So there you can see the biscuits in the Kong with the liquid in there. The next stage is this is going to go in the freezer. So this will be the final stage of Kong stuffing. Don't give your dog a frozen Kong unless you're absolutely 100% that they're going to be able to get all the food out of it. So there you go. Have fun.